Hi, I'm Auntie Kay, Yard Sales Arena, here with Uncle Vinti, the Vintage Tool Man, with a yard sale show for the weekend of March the 12th. Well, I want to start off with this little gadget here that we got at a previous yard sale. And the reason I want to start off with it is it's kind of interesting, and I want to tell you a little bit about it. This is a biscuit cutter. So I guess you'd roll out your dough and ch 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 chop and then stick your biscuits in to cook. But what's really interesting about this biscuit cutter is the fact that it says Cotoline, C-O-T-T-O-L-E-N-E, -T -T -E, for all frying and shortening. That's Hold it still. Oh, Uncle Vinti's having a hard time. Um, so I thought that was interesting. I looked up Cotoline. This particular product was the first uh, use of vegetable oil for cooking. Up until the point, at that point in time, which would be the late 1800s, everyone cooked with lard, which was animal fat or animal tallow. Cotoline used cottonseed oil. It was 90% cottonseed oil and they promoted it as a healthy alternative to lard and butter. It was even endorsed by physicians. One of their slogans said, Cotoline shortens your, shortens your food, lengthens your life. Interesting, hey? I guess it was used as a shortening. So anyway, this was the advent of all the bargerings. All right, Uncle Vinti's telling me to get on with it. All right, so this week, yard sales. Just a couple. First one we stopped at in Bowie, netted a lot of cool things. This neat old vintage, mellow rich Mrs. Smith pie tin. I paid a dollar for it. This is in excellent condition. Fifteen, twenty dollars I would put on that. This is an old ricer or masher. It doesn't have a name on it. I paid a dollar for it. I'm sure I could get around ten dollars for this in the shop. This is a row pottery. It's from Cambridge, Wisconsin. It has a date on it and a stamp. 1999 is when this particular pot was made. I paid five dollars for it. This would sell for fifteen twenty dollars. These pots look really nice with antique pots. I, I like to mix them. I got a Bromwell sifter. Also paid a dollar for it. And um, this is actually a nice one. It's probably five maybe ten dollars on that. At another flea market yard sale way up in Glen Burnie we found a lot of cool items. I got three more shoe forms. These two have the same attachment. I have a little one size six and a larger one size four. And then I have one that has a different attachment in a size four. This one has actually been repainted. We have stands for all of these. At that same location, I got two insulators. I paid a dollar each for. One is a Whithall Tatum number one. This is aqua. This is probably worth five, maybe a little more than five. This is a brook, brook field, brook field. And it's green. Can you see your deep, deep aqua? This one, I saw this one. It doesn't have a number on it, but I saw one just like it without a number for 15 and another one for $20. So go figure. I got a Coke bottle. bottle paid a buck for it. This one's from Richmond, Virginia. It's worth probably around five. And from that same gentleman, I got a number of old milk bottles. I've never had any milk bottles before. We've seen them, but we always thought they were pricey. But a dollar each, I bought them. They're one from Cloverland, one from Maryland Dairy, two from Washington, D.C. Dairy. And this one, I think is really neat. They call this a cream top. Uncle Vinti tells me back in the day that when they used to deliver milk, the cream would rise to the top and they would it would congregate up here or get caught up here and people would pour it off. I grew up in Chicago. They didn't deliver milk when I was a kid. Separates. Separates. It separates the cream. And that one said Annapolis Dairy or something. Yes, that one said Annapolis Dairy. So anyway, we're happy with those. Now we're going to be looking for an old milk carton or case to put our milk bottles in. 
All right, at the same sale in Bowie, I found this oil lamp. It's from Lamp Light Farms. Lamp Light Farms. They make oil lamps. Uh, she sold me all of this stuff. The lamp, the three additional chimneys that have the little drops on the top, a couple of cases of wicks, and a bottle of oil for $4. Great. You know, I've already told you, these things sell for about $10 each. So I did really well on that, and that's it. I'm going to turn it over to Uncle Venti. We're trading off the camera. Yeah, I picked up a few items. Uh, first of all, an oil can. I think we paid a uh, buck for it, I think. A dollar. Yeah. It was at that same flea market. Everything was a dollar, which is our price. I'll buy just about anything for a dollar. This is a crank. I'm not sure exactly what it's what it's uh, from. Hold it, it says, up a little bit. It says 10 II. So I'm not for sure. We couldn't find it online. So I'm not sure exactly. It's either 10 II or 10 LL or 10 one one. We're we're not sure. We couldn't find that as a and, company and or anything. I got a couple of sets of, of tools that were made by the American Manufacturing Tool Company. They're actually made in Taiwan. Are you going to open up and show them what they are? Uh, one is a, a Brad Point bit set, four bits, uh, and that's probably worth worth a few dollars. I paid I paid uh, two dollars for or three dollars for. It. Well, you paid what seven for both of these? Seven for both, yeah, yes, for both. And the other set is is a, is a, a set of uh, woodworking calipers. Those are neat. Set, and they're they're probably worth about twenty. So I paid seven dollars for, for both the bread point bits and the and the calipers. And that is it for the yard sales show for March. Um, what is it? Twelve. Twelve. Two thousand eleven. 2011. We'll be back next week. Bye. Bye.